Welcome. Welcome, Libras. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see what your soulmate wants you to know for October 28th to October 30th, 2018. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father, what does Mr. and Miss Libra's soulmate want them to know for October 28th to October 30th? 2018. With actions, will Mr. and Miss Libra's soulmate will take mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and action. Masculine Libras. Well, like um, feminine Leo soulmate, your soulmate, Mr. Libra, is thinking about communal living. I feel in this scenario, though, your soulmate has met you as someone that decorated or drew as if, hmm, you know how before architect can build, they need the blueprint. Your soulmate comes off as someone that drew the foundation of how a building will look, drew or gathered fabrics and tools and equipment that can make a home feel like family. He might have been a decorator as well, landscaper, an artist, a painter, someone that can actually sketch images. One that came to mind is like the Guggenheim. Your soulmate, including you, are builders, but in this arena, you like to build from the inside out. Your soulmate likes to build from the inside out. So things that make a home feel like family on the inside, like pictures, books, movies, particular scents, spices, how a couch will feel, particular beds, colors of bed sheets. These are things that your soulmate is thinking about. They might be in the process of moving and thinking how they want to redecorate their new place of residency. If they're a business owner or a real estater, looking at homes that they would love to sell to other people to start off their new stages of a family. And from that, getting an idea of, oh, this is what I would like as a home, or this is the location I would like to have my family. This is also what you might be going or thinking about, Mr. Libra. Bennett Libras, your soulmate has met you in Greco-Roman time. The time when civilization was booming, was advancing, was becoming its own, like a, a child. A child is born, so everyone is magnetized by a child. Yet the child is always seeking and always learning how to be the best selves. In the Greco-Roman period, your soulmate has met you as either a teacher or someone that seen a potential and created like the Colosseums or created theater or a, appointed to the advisors in Greek or Roman or councils in Greek or Roman how entertainment makes 
civilization feel like a family as one big family. Your soulmate has met you in the past life as that. And in this life, they're meeting you as someone that they will like to build with. But before they can reconnect with you or if they're if you're next to your soulmate and you're wondering, are they thinking about family and about how to make a home? Then yes, they are thinking about the structures of how to make a home. But most importantly, how to not have the masculine and feminine feel separate. They're figuring out, Miss Libras, how to make masculine and feminine Things in our lives become a family, become one. Yes, the structure is masculine, but the people that's going to fill this space is feminine. How do you track the people to this space? It's feminine. The structure in itself is masculine. But how to attract people is feminine. And how to make this masculine and the feminine energies that come into this space, a family will decide on the event that is taking place there. That's what your soulmate is thinking about, and that's what you're thinking about, if you are, Miss Libra. The actions that your soulmates will be taking, yes, masculine Libras, your soulmate is balancing out the individuality who they are as the individual making a home inside out. They're going to tap into their second house of Taurus to see how they can look at their, their worth. What makes a home worthy to them? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it look like? They're tapping into their second house to see how that would be. When they do that, they're going to go into their third house of Gemini, communication, and start to look at magazines, start to look at ads, start to look at sales that's out right now that could accommodate what they are visualizing in their mind's eye, in their third eye, masculine Libra. And they're going to use their fourth house of cancer and becoming very caring and intuitive on how each thing that they bring to make this place a home is significant. Because once they go into the fifth house, one plus four, five, they'll see that the things that they're looking at is literally the changes that they made within themselves. They outwardly get to see that. If this is you, masculine Libras, you are looking at how you have physically changed your world from the inside out. You will notice a change. The need for balance and moderation will be your next step. Cooperation and compromise will be of your will be your two atlas and compass to navigate you on this new journey, new reinvention of yourself. Reinventing even in your home reinventing and how you look at what it would it would feel like to have a home wait for the perfect timing whether that means yes going to a real estate agent and seeing what's out there take that time to look at the listings take the time to really look at your book your booking look at your finances real in, in detail ask yourself how much do you really want to spend if you're remodeling your apartment or remodeling your home how much do you want to invest and you want to be able to have money left over to get groceries and to have a life of your own outside of the home this is what your soulmate is balancing out this is what you're thinking about as well Female Libras, your soulmate is also going through that fifth house of change, but in their angle, it is the five things that they hold passionate, that drives them, that gets them to move forward. They're seeing how they can build that 
Greco Roman or let's say it this way, how to know that they are masculine, that they are feminine. We all have the masculine feminine energies in us. We know how to bring out our masculine drive and our willpower, and we know how to bring out our feminine protective and nurturing side. Yet, when it comes to having them become one, that becomes tricky to man and woman. Your soulmate is figuring out those five core values, those five things that they are passionate about, and how to align them as a one family unit. When they find that core value, that thing that sets everything else in motion when it comes to having a home, when it comes to building a solid relationship between a man and a woman, man and man or woman and woman, they're going to see the competing goals as a good uh, challenge like we see on YouTube, the challenges. They're going to use that as a challenge game as well or a challenge game game instead as a challenge or competing goals they're going to see it as a challenging game a challenge game and when they see it as a challenge game that bothersome in details will become a boardwalk or that board game for them to see that details is actually the the real desire results that they're looking for and that conflict with others will give them that understanding that oh if I have conflict, then that means this can be the perfect opportunity to see how I can solve both that masculine feminine concept in this conflict. And they will see this as a courageous act of victory. When they do these, when they look at conflicts as a an open opportunity to set as a challenge or as a game, a, a healthy game, they're going to become that chariot. They're going to have that important achievement. Yes, masculine Libras, your soulmate is receiving important achievements. If this is you as well, you're receiving important achievements on the way you have balanced your life and the way you balance how you look at situations and how you even solve them. People are recognizing you for your self-discipline and for your willpower. And they're seeing that you should be public, publicly recognized for the changes that you have set in your physical and emotional and intimate world. Your soulmate as well will be getting that self-discipline by looking at how to merge the masculine and feminine energies within them. They're going to see that self-discipline is can be seen as a way to self-dream or self dare yes it's like a self dare <laughs> of a willpower even looking at self discipline as a self dare in a way causes a different energy and when people hear how they physically do that again they're going to be public recognized female libras your soulmate is going to be renewed with a new concept or renewed with a concept that they felt could not be but they're seeing that it can be revived and renewed for this very task at hand female Libras your soulmate is reviewing and evaluating what causes conflict between a man and woman and they're seeing how they can create a new concept of how to connect or reconnect with a man and woman, 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 man and man, once more. A favorable assessment of the facts. They are definitely doing their homework. Time to move in that new direction. They are. Even this is you. You feel, you know it's time to move in that direction. You know how to go about it. It's in your mind's eye. It's been in your dreams. It's even been in the conversations you had around, around you. It's even in your atmosphere. That you know the changes you want to make is there. Waiting for you like a canvas, like a playground. 
waiting for you to create. And so we meet again, Mr. and Ms. Libras, your soulmate, including yourself, are renewing, renewing the concepts of how conflicts can be seen as a courageous challenge, a game that is not childish in nature. It can be, but it correlates to maturity. And to meet again, Mr. and Ms. Libras, I love you. I love you. If you like what you have heard and seen, please like, share with others this video, and subscribe. If you would like to get a personal reading or a one question reading, look within the description box below for further details. I love you. We will see you on the other side.